All right, everyone, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Last time, we had just gotten to the village I can't remember and got the girl's name who I don't like. But we need her, unfortunately, because she is a rogue. Um, and we also got Sten, which I forgot about, to be completely honest, but I really like him. He's a good tank and frontline for our team. So let us continue. The Adventures of Flynn Coesland, because I can't change his last name. But really, it's Flynn Rider. All right, so let me just double check my quests here. Deal with the bandits. Premium content. I thought I dealt with the bandits. I mean, I thought I technically dealt with them. Did I not? Also, before I get started, I want to thank everybody who watched my replay. And also, I'm so happy that so many people love this game and played this game as much as I do. Because it is really one of my favorite games that I've ever played through. So, like, as soon as I saw it on Steam, I was like, whoop gotta have it and all three of them were so cheap I was like yes please anyways it makes me happy that um people other people like this game because it really is a good one um it's always weird going back to games that you've played before you know and like how you remember them and then how they are now like, it's like, oh, everything has such good graphics now. And you're like, oh, my God, these graphics makes me feel old. I tell you, old. So usually I'm the kind of person that picks up every single side quest possible, but since I'm doing a let's play, I'm going to actually try to just stick to the main quest. Unless there's like a Bad side. Dreams, huh? Why are you bothering me? I'm fine. Well, drank more like, as in the tainted blood, remember? You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the dark spawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. That's not the fun. The demon it talks to the horde and we feel it just as they do that's why we know this is really a blight i don't know if it's really a dragon but it sure looks like one but yes that's the archdemon it takes a bit but eventually you can block the dreams out some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, it's so hard to not like this man. Around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first. It's so hard for me to not like that. 
Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing, no. I'm all tapped out for surprises. Yeah. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. I like how he's technically my senpai, but somehow I ended up being the leader. All right. We'll talk to Sven for a little bit. There's, I keep calling him Sven. Why are we stopping? There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. No. <laughs> Get used to disappointment. People are not simple. <laughs> they cannot be summarized for easy reference in the manner of the elves are a lithe, pointy eared people who excel at poverty. Uh... I am. Decide. I am a Sten of the Beresad. I did not choose oh, to right, be who I am any more than you did. Mm, 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 mm. The Antam are the eyes, hands, and mouth of the Kunari. We are how my people know the world. Compared to what? Mm. What does anyone truly know of the world? The world <laughs> changes. We change. The Antam observe what we can, just as you do. There is no point to this. We are keeping the darkspawn waiting. As you wish. Oh, I got plus two on Sten. I feel like that is a bonus. All right, puppy. Oh, why you little... Me harassing your dog? I should say it's the other way round. Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. Um. Good boy. Arr. Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. <laughs> I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. <laughs> well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. <laughs> I like I can oh, only I see my tell the difference. Well, you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Oh. <laughs> oh, Stan approved of that. Your fool dog placed in my pack. A putrid, half eaten hair is not something a woman <laughs> wants to find in her unmentionables. You are welcome to this. If you really want it. The dirty mongrel can have this back. There. And tell him not to do it again. Oh, I don't want it, you worthless fur bag. You're a mean lady. Oh, he's just trying to be the <laughs> He's trying to be manipulative. <sighs> I forgot about this part. <laughs> you are a true warrior and worthy of respect. Best conversation ever. All right, let's go talk to Alistair because I, I like Alistair. What do you need? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. 
I I should have handled it better. God, it's really I hard not to like right get this gun. Thing this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and and everything. I'm sorry. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. I think he came from High Ever, or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime. See about putting up something in his honor. I don't know. Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just... Um... Yes, I imagine you really have, haven't you? Thank you. Really, I mean it. it was good he is really the best character. There is a way to be king and, and have him be sort of happy, actually. So I will try for that. But I don't understand. So please, if you're watching this on YouTube, could you please leave in the comments if you know how to keep Alistair alive and be king? Because remember, Alistair becomes king um, usually, but there is a way. I read it because I was looking it up. You have to have him execute Loghain. Um, and then he becomes, stays a Grey Warden. Um, and then you do the ritual with more... Morgana, which is fine because I'm gonna romance her. Um, I'd like that. But it says he you? has to be unhardened, which I don't know what the frick that means. What do you need? Ask away. Oh, did I say that? I meant that dogs raised me. Giant slobbering dogs from the Anderfells. A whole pack of them, in fact. Well, they were flying dogs, you see. Surprisingly strict parents, too. And devout Andrastians to boot. Mm -hmm. Or did I dream all of that? <laughs> <laughs> Funny the dreams you'll have when you sleep on a cold, hard ground, isn't it? I dream about coming mm. a raiding. Point taken. Mm. <laughs> Let's see, how do I explain this? I'm a bastard. And before you make any smart comments, I mean the fatherless kind. My mother was a serving girl in Redcliffe Castle who died when I was very young. Our Lehman wasn't my father, but he took me in anyhow and put a roof over my head. He was good to me, and he didn't have to be. I respect the man, and I don't blame him anymore for sending me off to the Chantry once I was old enough. I know who I was told was my father. He died even before my mother did, anyhow. It isn't important. Our Lehman eventually married a young woman from Orlay, which caused all sorts of problems between him and the king because it was so soon after the war. But he loved her. Anyhow, then you, Arlesa, resented the rumors which pegged me as his bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care, but she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age 10. Just as well. So maybe just don't do his personal sure side quest? It wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. Maybe. She felt threatened by my presence. I can see that now. I can't say I blame her. She wondered if the rumors were true herself, I bet. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. So it says... So I'll wait curious. till he's done he talking. Away, I tore it off and... Threw it at the wall and it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming. All I know is that the Isle is a good man and well loved by the people. He also was King Caelan's uncle, so he has a personal motivation to see Loghain pay for what he did. Anyway, that's really all there is to the story.
So it says, okay, so it says here that you must be playing a male human noble. You must work out a deal with the Nora. You must not kill Loghain. You have to have Alistair execute him. And in case you had Alistair kill Loghain, Alistair must not be hardened from his personal side quest. I don't understand what that means, though. Let's go. Let's switch. Okay, so we always need you and you. Indeed. But let's rotate between these three. Maximus, because he needs to level up. Alrighty, Boo. Let's go to Redcliffe. I don't know why, but I always start with Redcliffe. I don't know if you're supposed to or if it really matters, but I just have always started with Redcliffe. You have coin, stranger? Doors of Mar closed off. Old Tegra can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms. Dwarven made. Hmm. There's two things I'm here for. Travel or trade. Oh, There's come on. I don't want to talk to you. Is that all that's here? There's an elf fruit. Oh, Maximus is leveled up. What do you need? Is he technically a warrior? Actually, we should have Alistair out for this one, shouldn't we? Probably. Yeah, let's let's make sure we have Alistair in the party. Bye, poopy. Yes. All right. I keep forgetting I gave my character a violent voice, but it doesn't sound violent. I I saw travelers coming but he just gets mad. Oh, I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? Um. So you, you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? You look like the guy that just asked me for help. Oh, I actually meant to do the second one, but Nami pushed my hand. Every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Apparently, everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. True. No army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. No Arl? What happened to our Lehman? What is going on? And that's why I have him out. And we don't even know if he's still alive. We haven't heard from the castle in days. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far. If you'll come with me. And who are these Why does everyone have They're douchey pants? Not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met... <laughs> Covered in mud. Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Still alive, yes. Though I'm just as surprised about that as you are, believe me. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. I refer to Caelan, of course. Our sister was Queen Rowan, 
King Merrick's wife and Kaelin's mother make her rest her soul. Come on, you are a Grey Warden as well. Is it possible we've met? You seem very familiar. Ah, yes, that's it exactly. A pleasure to meet you indeed, though I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. I think it is. Evil things surged from the castle. But I should know. No, mother. Just a little bit, but the yukuri hon chan, hon to yukuri eto ne oshitemas. Some call them the Walking Dead, decomposing corpses returning to life with a hunger for human flesh. Taboo neto fuyu no ku. Each night they come with greater numbers. With Kaelin dead and Logain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Muzukashi kara eto mai nichi watashi no koi o tsukawanai to. It isn't just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Logain without Arleman. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you, thank you. This. But we need their help. You can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. Morgana literally does not know how Murdoch, politics the works. Is outside That's okay. The Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Otashi? Daijoubu. Morgana disapproves. I'm not gonna not help. Let us pray. Blessed art thou who exists in the maze of science. Blessed art thou. Sorry. Am I bothering you? What are we going to do? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. You weren't even saying anything. I shouldn't be such a crybaby. With mother gone now, I have to be brave. I just, I can't help myself. I'm so frightened. Those. Those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time, everywhere. How terrible, you poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. I really just And now my you. brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. I went to her house. It's by the square. He wasn't there. I searched the rest of the village too. I called and I called, but he never answered. I, I wonder if he ran off into the woods. I'm so worried. Without me, he has nobody. What would you give to find him? I understand. I do. I'm just so afraid for him. Then go look for him. What the children to hear you? I guess that's probably hard, huh? I thought that's where we were supposed to go. I'm scared, mother. Talk to Sir Perth. One of the bad men coming. We have no choice. We must. I hate that I have to have Liliana in my party because I need someone to open locked no, chests for me no sign of them coming back from the castle Murdoch. so you're the gray warden are you i heard they all died with the king i could be a ghost <laughs> a ghost or two to kill a horde of evil monsters i'll take it but you look plenty alive to me i'm a cocky so you're gonna turn aside anyone who wants to help though don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing you kind of are well, sounding like help, one however we can you can trust us Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village. Providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. God damn, every time I look at that face, I think how well I did on my fin face. I, I hope you're right. I'm a persuasive man. I've been man. trying to hold us together, but it isn't easy. 
Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. Yep. Morale's about what you'd expect. These men aren't soldiers. They're villagers defending their homes, and they're frightened. It would help if we had decent equipment. There weren't enough swords in Owen's shop, and the men's armor is nearly falling off. I don't think we're in any shape to fight. We'll do our best, of course, but, well, I have my doubts. I just hope I'm alive tomorrow morning. We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Okay, Owen's what can I do that has that? that. Do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids. So he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. So don't you think he, he would want to make swords? The castle, break down the gate and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. So he's so a moron. In the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. Ugh. Not by nightfall and not well enough that I'd be happy to test it in combat. If there were others, don't you think I'd ask them? I don't know. You kind of seem like a moron. We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. Mm -mm -mm. He's a trader, a dwarf. Lives near the lake. Locked himself up in his home with some of his workers, he has. Says he doesn't need any of us. Mm. We could use somebody with his fighting experience, but he won't come out. He's probably smart. Shouldn't you be trying to reason with Owen? Why don't you go reason with him? drink with him. That's how he sucks you in. Just my luck, our success hinges on the most foolish drunk of a smith ever to grace the maker's lands. Tell them to maintain watch. Bam! Caitlin's home. Is that this one? Caitlin's home. Caitlin is Caitlin the lady whose brother went missing. How do I get up there? How do I get up there? Go away. This isn't your home. This is my home. My home, you hear me? How how do you know my name? I'm Caitlin's friend. Did she tell you to take me back to the Chantry? Don't make me go back there. I hate that place. I hate it. Um, why do you hate it? Everybody's scared. But they tell me I shouldn't be scared. And they tell me I shouldn't be sad that Mother died. I... Because they're idiots. I don't want to be sad. I'm brave. I'm going to be a hero. I'm going to fight them off. I will. No. No. <laughs> I guess that's not very brave of me, is it? Alt you? I'll, I'll come out now. Alt you? Why alt you? Ah! Oh, right. what's no Christmas tree you won't hurt me. Will you? I'll go back to the Chantry if you really want. Skidaska. I. I can't tell you. It's a secret. Are you sure? You could. Alright, mm. I guess. But I just, chisai... Father said I could have his children when I grew ke... up. It... it was grandfather's. Chisai kedo... And grandfather Kide. was a great dragon slayer. I thought. If I was brave like grandfather, I could use his sword and kill the bad people who took mother. Thank you, sir. 
but the sword is too heavy for me. <laughs> I... You gotta be nice to children like you. and lie sometimes. That doesn't help us now. Caitlin says everyone's going to die tonight. Not if I'm here, they you know, won't. You must be very brave. I wish I was like you. In the chest, in mother's room, father gave me a key, but I'm not supposed to give it to anyone. Mm. But I can't give it to you. It was father's. Mm -hmm. Caitlin would be so mad if I did. You could? Maybe you could give my sister money? <laughs> Say that we have money. We'd be all right. Even if mother is dead. Hmm. Oh. All right. Here's the key. I it's hope probably not even a good sword. It better be a good sword. Go back to the Chantry. Good luck. My persuasion wasn't high enough to make him give me the sword. Darn it. That was better than later. What? Green blade. Oh, I'm not strong enough. I'm not strong enough. I What's my strength? Can Alistair hold it? Fine, but don't let me forget about this sword. You don't get to keep it forever. Don't get used to it. That's my sword, you hear? Mine. My sword. Now is better than later. Once I get strong enough to hold it, that is. All right, now where? Mute, mute, mute. Dwin. Dwin. Knock, knock. Pow. Kick. Hello. One who can get off my back. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Apology accepted. Wow, that was fast. Now get out. Oh. Surviving. We have supplies to last for quite some time. And my boys and I can swing a weapon better than any of those fools out there. Sure it does. Here I have my own supplies, my boys for protection, and I live and die on my own terms. Maybe. Let's hear what you've got. And what good would that do me? The Arl's probably Damn it. dead. I couldn't care less what Tegan thinks of me. What else you got? I'm not gonna pay him. That's a mighty fine suggestion. I think I'll do that. Have a nice day. What's left of it? I swear we might as well leave the door open. <laughs> coming in and out. So what? You're recruiting for him? I'll tell you what I told Murdoch. I'm not risking my neck for this town. That's fair. Thanks. But I'll take my chances in here. Everyone else can run around in the open waiting to die. <sighs> I'm not gonna threaten him. That's a mighty fine suggestion. I think I'll do that. Have a nice day. What's left of it? I'm gonna steal from you though. If you have anything to steal. 
They don't even have anything with steel. Worthless. Alright, now the door. Oh. Lamp oil, you say. Excuse me? No! Like What's the point of you having in my having you at my party if you can't even pick the lock? That's the only reason you're in the party. Useless woman. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my scores. There's nothing left. Um. Huh? Who is that? What do you want? Mm. Yay! All right, all right. Let me undo the locks. All I ask is <laughs> don't make any trouble. Okay. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? I am Flynn Coosland. Next in line to be king, so I do dare say you hold thy tongue. The Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> It takes all kinds. Anyhow, my name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? <laughs> Why should I help Murdoch when he won't help me? Hmm? My girl, Valena. Is one of the Alessa's maids, and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me, or the village, or anyone! Or you could work to help save her. I'm an old man. Everyone knows oh, we yeah, aren't making it through the night. Save you. Oh, or are you going to save us? Yes, I am. Is that so? <laughs> Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. Tell you what. If you want me to do repairs for Murdoch and his men, promise me mm -hmm. you'll go into the castle and find my daughter. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. You were asking a great deal, you wretched it's little true. Man. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if, if you can. I mean, to be fair, exactly, what's stopping me from lying to you? Like, I'm not going to say that. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? You shut up. Right, then. It seems I have some work to do, relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Oh my god, Morgan hates everything. Everything nice she hates. I actually just thought of something. If I go to the D town, the town that's named D, I wonder. I wonder, I want to see 
if I can get the elf guy, because I love the elf guy. Or if it won't let me leave now and I have to finish this quest. I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that... Whoops, I went the wrong way. Are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to leave. It's a really good point! You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. How do I get out of this village? And die? That would be great. <laughs> they are really the best uh, comedic duo here. Can I get, I want to get to the world map. Naze. I might be, not be able to leave now that I'm in here. There are no griffin mounts in this game. Oh. Where are you going? I thought you were going to help us. Oh. If you go, I doubt we'll still be oh. here when you get back. Damn it. I'm just saying. Okay. Fuck. Fine. Okay, fine. All right, fine. I'll wait you just here for now. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Van Tegan is to see you here. I must admit that I do not quite know how to address you. Is my lord sufficient? Very well then, my lord. I am humbly at your service. Yes, I call me lord. Until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah oh, well, with the Grey Warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. No one told me of this. All you say. How much exactly? Enough to send many monsters to flame. Assuming that would hurt them. Yes, I see what you have in mind. That might be effective, if used carefully. Yes, excellent idea. I'll send some men to collect the oil. We'll use it to... Wow, I've been here there. like 10 seconds and you... to ask me in the meantime? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Uh, Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be. All things considered. Ask me whatever you wish. You know about as much as I do. I returned a day before the attacks began, having heard strange rumors about the abandoned castle. I was the only knight to survive the first attack. Since then, I found others returning from the Alessa's quest. Until we get to the source of this evil, though, I do not think it will stop. And I don't believe we will be enough. I'm not sure. Murdoch mentioned a blacksmith in the village, but I believe the militia is using everything he has. Beyond that, you might try the village store. It's locked up, but there may be items of use still within. I do not know. There was a chest I couldn't open. Ugh, a 
fellow named Lloyd runs it. He refuses to close and evacuate to the church. <coughs> I suppose he might still have something to sell you. Though I wouldn't encourage dealing with a fool. He was a profiteer and nothing more. Alright, carry on. As you wish, my lord. Yes, call me my lord some more. Call me my lord some more. There's a secret entrance over here. Love letter. Love letter. Oh god, that's way too many. I don't that's love letter. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. And, uh, hello, knight, in front of your arrows. Doma me. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look nice. easy. Good enough, I said. I'll inform Van Tegan the militia is ready to fight. We'll give those bastards a welcome they won't soon forget. <laughs> What's he up to now? Never mind. I have a good feeling about tonight. Do you? Ah, oh, ah, no, no, things are falling over. Excuse me, guys. I'm gonna walk right in front of your arrows again. Are the graphics supposed to be better? Bevan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. I'll take a kiss from a pretty girl. You're very sweet. I, I suppose there's no harm in it. That's so much better. Blech. You're a <laughs> kind and generous man. Blech. Please, be safe tonight. May the maker watch over you. Well, okay, it's funny. I'm so glad you said that because I thought it was weird, but I honestly just couldn't remember what the graphics were. And I thought, okay, maybe this is what they were. But, <laughs> like, but yeah, so like at the beginning of the game, it was like, we will maximize, but I have a really good computer, so. You are a stranger amongst us, yet you still agree to defend our village in its darkest hour. We are most grateful to you. <laughs> um. I will be grateful of your attempt, even if it fails. We can ask no more. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered mother. Yeah, the resolution was also country, like very low. It's a place of refuge for these poor villagers. How awful this must be for you all. Is this everyone who's left? All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? Um, Sir Perth. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Are you going to make me run all the way back up the hill? You're not praying hard enough, then. I can pray with them and give them my blessing. But Sir Perth wants me to call upon the Maker to shield them just from Just do evil. something. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale Seriously. Thing, you know. Seriously. You, you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense. I will not lie to them like that. What's your fucking problem? I suppose their belief in the Maker's power could inspire them. But it just seems like true. No, you're just Very saying, well. please you protect them, them. I will do what I must. I have a number of silver cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Now, please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. 
But horses are so fun. Hi. Knights of Red Cliff are ready to fight at your disposal. Um, oh my no, I've got some status. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? She has only amulet. Must we do this? The faith that will protect these men must come from their heart, surely. If they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. Honestly, who cares? I will send some men to collect the amulets. If it makes them feel better. For seeing some sense of love. Are we ready? I think we're ready. There's still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned. Good luck to you then. Let's and just do it. Watch over us all. Let's do it. Positions. Make ready. Light the traps. Burn these foul creatures. Oh. How do I? How do I get people to? Go to. I thought there were way, ways I could get people to go to different places. Or I mean, like. <laughs> Alistair, don't you dare fucking run in the fire. you doing I don't know if horror would work on these guys Some reason they're attacking me. All right, getting a little too close to the fire for my my liking. God, that's so much better. Alright, let's not be on the inside of that. Oh, 
keeping an eye on Alistair because I'm not actually entirely sure where he is. Wait, what? Why aren't you attacking? Attack him! Alright, you're fine for now. You need some mana. Alistair, can you attack the same- Oh, you attack him. Something. Can you use? Can you use? Yeah. How do I? How do I? Pause. All right, you this, you this, you this. To be merciful, you can't die. Your time to die. Holy shit, oh god. Take that. No, no, no! My dead bodies! No, my looting! No, my looting! Dawn arrives and we survive the night. We are victorious. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here. Maybe I can still get the them. Heroism of these good folk beside me. I thank you, good sir. Truly, the maker smiled. <laughs> I'm still glowing here in our darkest hour. Um, surely these people deserve some small celebration, don't you think? There is time yet. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of. I like how I'm still on Murder fire or whatever. Mayor and beloved father, we salute you. You and so many others who have perished here. 
walk with he who is your maker. Long may you know the peace. Did you really go into battle in that in that suit? With the maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. I'm on fire. All right, let me loot. No! Wait, isn't this where his body was? Isn't this where the bodies were? No! My yeah, at least I got the maid guy. I got the main guy, didn't I? I'm so angry about that. I'm a looter. Also, I did not realize that Liliana... Is there not a better way to do this? Boop. Boop. We should really set this up so that we have our health potion. Health potion. Health potion and stuff in the bar. All right, everybody level up. Dang, you are dexterous. Magic. Ring. Which one's for lock picking? Probably dex. Did it say 18 or 19? Oh, it still requires level 8, though. We're going to make her an archer. Hello, lady. Lady. Well, I like fire, actually. But she, we're going more of a, yeah. I love walking bomb. Oh my God, I fucking love walking bomb. But it's super dangerous if you're not the main character. I believe I have her kind of set up with, um, yeah, debilitator, so. Okay, 
All right. Um, right. We were looking at our things. I don't really think we got much, but we got things to sell. So But let's just go in. I think we. Well, once I get. Margin. Do you believe in the makeup? Certainly not. I've no. I was gonna say once I get Win, I always have Win in the party because she's a healer, right? So I also never really use her. Primitive fear of the moon such that I must place my faith in tales so that I may sleep at night. But this can't all be an accident. Spirits, magic, all these wondrous things around us, both dark and light. You know these things exist. The fact of their existence does not presuppose an intelligent design by some absentee father. Um, also, I usually play a mage. Especially in games with friendly fire. Attempting to impose order over chaos is futile. Nature is, by its very nature, chaotic. I don't believe that. I believe we have a purpose. All of us. Yours, apparently, being to bother me. Yeah, same. I like, so like, especially like, and especially in the second game, I like playing the wizard because there's a lot of like, um, effect like uh, area effect spells and it's a lot easier playing the wizard because if you let an AI use those spells when you're playing a game that has friendly fire it's really bad um, Odd how quiet the castle looks yeah like. wizard is the best I think, I think into at all. but I shouldn't delay things further I had a plan walking I bomb is so much fun that's what I was saying walking bomb is fun I can't remember in the in the mill accessible only to my family I had no idea what lurked in the castle and I couldn't abandon the people of the village what if maker's breath I like how I'm still on fire Tigan thank the maker you yet live he sold you're alive how did you what has happened I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over, and I must return quickly. And I need you to return with me, Tika. Alone. Why don't we all go to the castle? What? I. Who is this man, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Assault, don't you? Alistair. <laughs> we're both we're both still on fire. <laughs> they are Grey Wardens, Isold. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I I would exchange pleasantries, but considering the circumstances. Please, Lady Isold, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a Terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and haunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Conor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. And isn't this his mom? I, I beg your pardon. That's a rather impertinent accusation. Not if it's true. An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and husband hostage. King for help. What more do you want yeah, from me? Yeah, and you? how'd you get out? I mean, I know, I do not but. I understand what you mean by this evil. Did it create the walking corpses? What is it? Something the mage unleashed. So far, it allows him and Connor and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. 
For Connor's sake. I promised I would return quickly and only with Tigan. Tigan, I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. I beg you not to. For Connor's sake. Oh, I mean, I know what it is. I do not know. Oh, Miko's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tigan. Please. He is an infiltrator, I think. One of the castle staff. Lies, 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 lies. lies. Well, he claims an agent of Terran Lugains hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. I can't remember if all of it's a lie, but I know that. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isol. <gasps> Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tigan. Bless you. I cannot let Isolde return alone. Perhaps I can help Connor or Eamon. Perhaps this is really a trap, but this is my family. I must try. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand... Of course, I mean, I'm literally clear. on fire. Can you excuse us for a moment? <laughs> Actually, why hasn't that worn off yet? I will be by the bridge. How long does this spell or whatever last? I'm assuming it's either Liliana's song or something. I go in with Isolde and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? Mm. What choice do either of us have? I can't let you do this bad decision. To to He's right. Without our Lehman, we'll never get the support we need. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. That's awful. The lock on the door in the That's middle. awful. Who do, would not go? Actually, you have to just get him out of there. He sold me and anyone else. We are expendable. Actually, clearly, I've never done that because I'm not an evil person. But if you don't save them, then they don't help in the final battle, right? Does that like even change anything? You are a good man. The maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. So we are just going to stand in with that woman? It seems too dangerous. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. We just have to get there before he... So look at... What is on me that is... Song of... Va that's it. The Song of Valor. That's what... Also, I have Threaten on. That's why I'm glowing here. I like the song of valor. It makes me glow purple. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Hey. Oh. <laughs> I keep forgetting that that's my character's voice. <laughs> Cause I picked a violent, but it didn't sound violent at all. I locked myself in a cage once when I was a child for an entire day. Ah, uh, good times. Good times. Good times indeed. Lightless bastard. Get away from me! No mercy! Man, okay, attack the same target, attack the team target. alive out there no wait you don't look like the Arlesser's guards are you from outside the castle 
You uh, I'll ask the questions here, buddy. I yes, I understand. Who are you? My name is Jowan. I'm a mage Lady Isolde hired to tutor her son <laughs> until they uh, threw me into the dungeon here. You're the one who poisoned the Earl. I'm not proud of it. <laughs> he so... had no idea what I was hired to do when she took me in to tutor Connor. I I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. Oh, so why didn't when me me blah blah? Why did you poison Isle Eamon? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelda. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malefica. A blood mage. You? A blood mage? Truly? I would never have guessed. <laughs> and there's mage. the sarcastic mouse. Oh, that isn't good. I mouth. I in the Forbidden Arts. And they condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart and I'm responsible. I have to make it right somehow. I have to. Why is Earl Eamon a threat? He only said that Arl Eamon was dangerous to the nation. Why wouldn't I believe Terran Loghain? But why did the Arlesa Earl? Connor had started to show... <laughs> Signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. Everyone's I still glowing. A mage outside the circle to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Uh, perhaps her son is responsible for what happened. I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of I only say that because I know. something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. You know, you're covered in blood, but you have such a nice voice. Such a pitiful voice. Some, but he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. Like I said, he may have torn the veil accidentally. If he's involved in this at all, I really don't know. Because he would be taken away forever. A man uh, cannot inherit a title. I should know that. A son of a powerful Arl. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. I should have rolled did a uh, history check, noble a check. No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Maybe because he I tried to poison someone? Blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks, or the Templar? He is a Templar. Sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. I think... He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Like yourself, you mean? Everyone deserves a chance to redeem themselves in the Maker's eyes. This man, no less than any. I don't know. He is a blood mage. But this is an unusual situation. If I remember correctly, freeing him is very helpful. Well, I try to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. I can't quite remember, but I feel like it. I'm glad you think so. So what now? 
You're letting me out? And what then? Uh, you come with me. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger exactly. What? You just said that you were going to help someone. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. Wait, it wasn't locked? You could have just walked out the whole time. You could have just walked out the whole time. Oh. Everyone liked that but Alistair. I really want Stan in my party. But I need Alistair for this quest because it's his thing. Now is better than later. I'll get on it. All right, all right. Keep. By the way, for those of you who do not know me, I am a looter. I loot, I pillage, I plunder. I love loot. I love sparkly treasure chests. And even if there's just flour in them, I love it. You go over there. You come here. And now let's go over there. Also, we need to add an auto action for these guys too, so they heal themselves. specifically we want shield that seems good was there anything he needed I don't think so really I'll just give him more con and power Wait. Oh, yay, I can finally wield my sword. It's my sword. Um, strength, I think. Now what do I do? I guess this. Can you only have one mode active at a time? It's like counterintuitive to that. Maybe I should. Mm. Wait, hold on. Mm. All right, give me my sword. So you should have this equipped, just in case. Also, let's look at tactics. All right, we don't have another. 
there's that yet, quite yet. Oh, I see. This and this don't really work together though. Because you have to... We're just going to drag that one else because you want to strike fast with the dual we weapons, I would think. Kitty, kitty, tummy, tummy, tissue, kitty, tummy, tummy. Save. Get back out here. Oh, this camera angle. I'm going to die. Is it funny that I had a feeling? I just had a feeling. That I needed to save there. Like, I didn't know what it was, but it was this feeling that I needed to save there. Okay, I swear to God there's a wait function. I swear there's a wait function, like stay here function. Why are you running to the door, you butt? Fucking man. Oh, I guess now it's okay. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? I thought there was a way for, to make them like stand, like so that I could run up and like lure them into this room. Aha, yes, perfect. I think what I'm gonna do is when they get in here, I might uh, control Morgana. Mm, you just stand there, all right, here we go. I figured it out, but yeah. Cause I I totally remembered like having to like set them up and then like run in to the room like that and be like the bait. He's like slowly attacking me. How can he hit me through the door?
Yes, yes, exactly, that too. All right, come. All right, I think we're good. AI are dumb, dumb AI. Where are you standing, my dear? Stamina is that um I get you a ladder so you can get off my back. Is that I'll will power? Allow me. I could do that for you. Thank you. You can't do it for me! You're a liar. You're a liar and you're useless. Why are you even my party if you can't open a I would much rather have Stead or the dog. Do I have any more? I don't, but you come stand back here. You also come back stand here. You stand in front of the door because you're a good warrior. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. You're gonna be the bait. Right away. <laughs> go stand over there. You also go stand over there.
Is he? I can't tell if he's. Oh, he's in threaten. Don't you need that? I can't. Alright, first of all, attack that guy. Oh shit. Why are you not using damage spells on these fuckers? I feel like I can kill these guys. How do I get her out of spider form? Oh. <laughs> now is better than later. I'm sorry I called you a bitch. That was rude. I shouldn't have done that. one left. Why is there always a straggler? <laughs> Move, you numb know, nuts. Oh my gosh, I thought it was going to happen again. They went running past. No puppies! No puppies! Oh my god, why the fuck? Why is this so hard? kill the poopies anyway. We're just gonna come in here and close this door. Oh, 
We're saving now that we snuck past the poopies. Kind of looks like this just goes to the end over here. Don't mind me while I ransack your living quarters. Ah! Hello. Please don't hurt me. Do I look undead? I, I'm sorry. I'm so frightened. These monsters are everywhere. My, my name's Valena. The Arlesa's maid. Is she all right? What happened to everyone? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? But, but the monsters. I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. Hope she's all right. All right, all right. It doesn't like why does I don't understand why it doesn't let you like escort her. Lightless bus. Come and get it. Something I can help with? No, 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 no. All right. What hit them? Sometimes. Okay, we got one. Come with me, no. Not it. Another one. Let's make this quick. If you're come on.
Okay. All right. Doing good so far. Do this. Do that. Shush, shush, shush. I am your overlord and master, being the player. What kind of breakfast did you eat? We deal with the big guy. Save. Sam. Sam. I know a lot of Sam, so you're gonna have to be more specific, specific, specific than that. Get on it. What's down this way? Another chest you can't open? Oh, you opened it, but there was only a mushroom in it. Got it. What kind of mushroom, I wonder? What kind of mushroom? Got another love letter. Courtyard. Oh, right, if we open the door, right. Right. What you? I am. Nope. We need flasks. Oh, I thought you were someone from real um work or some. Uh, not, probably not work. You wouldn't be speaking English, but yeah. But hi. Uh, which Discord? Is it Ori's? Ori-san's? He's not here right now, but he was here. No! Don't run off! Where were you, where you going? I don't even know where things are. Get back here. Oh my god, everyone's gonna die. Um, well, he might be lingering around here. I don't know. He likes to linger. Oh my god, everyone is dead. Everyone's dead because they ran off like moronic morons. Wait. Wait. 
Wait a moment. And also, why did the mage run off? Oh, this is on normal, Jack. This is normal. Why is this so hard? I am ready. All right, all right. I don't think we technically have to go this way, but I want to. All right, you guys stay still, okay? I know it's really, really hard for you to do that, but do it. I can't see. Is that all you've got? That's right. Come on. Yes. Oh, you are a fat fat diva. Another battle I see. All right, how are they? You, will learn to <laughs> you have decent aim, come on. Okay, good, good, good start, good start. We gotta save it though. See, and this is why we give everyone bows. I see you over there, you ass. Poo. I don't know how saying ass poo is better than ass butt because I already used a bad word. Didn't I, Jack? I'm not sure. I should spread them out a little more, shouldn't I, though? It's so close, though. It's so close. And also, we should do this. Um, tactics. Damager. Because I don't think the thing is going to work yes. here. And also here. Oh, he doesn't really have that, does he? Okay. There's that one, like, straggler that maybe if I can grab him. And just him. It'll help, because Alistair was kill focusing on him instead of the Revenant. Okay. Save again. I'm not shitting you guys when I'm telling you this is normal. All right. Breaking up. Sweat already. Ah. They won't know what hit them. Have at it! On your guard. 
Fuck him. You will learn to fear me. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Look at how much more better that's working. Look at how much better that damage is working. That was challenging, but we did it. Why does he not have any loot? Oh, fuck. I'll get on it. I was gonna be pissed off. What now? Man, he's so mad at me. Save! We're gonna keep her on damage. Was it? Open the gates. That is good. My men and I are eager to see our Arl again. Shall we enter the main hall together? It must be held if we are to regain control of the castle. As you wish. We will hold the gate and watch for anyone attempting to leave. Let me know if the situation changes. I need to loot. Loot, 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 loot. If there is anything to loot. Which it looks like there is not. Maybe this guy. If I remember remember correctly, we have to go into the fade, so I'll get through the cutscene in the um Arl and then head to sleep. Where's the duder? Okay, you guys can move again. What is the situation? Shall we go to the hall with you, or shall we wait here? Let's, let's go. Excellent. Let us go now, then, and see what awaits us there. Is that bad? Am I going to get them all killed? So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes, Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This... This is just a man, Connor. Like your father. Oh, I am tired of hearing about him. Besides, he's nothing at all like father. Look at him, breathing and not dying in the slightest. I could change that, mind you. Connor, I beg you, don't hurt anyone. M Mother? What? What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the maker. Connor, Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman! You are beginning to bore me! Maker's breath. What has happened here? Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. I like him better this way. <laughs> <laughs> now he amuses me. <laughs> Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. Uh -huh. And made a deal with the demon to do so? 
Foolish child. It was a fair deal. Father is alive, just as I want him. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Quiet, uncle. I warned you what you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This man will have the audience he seeks. Tell us. What have you come here for? Um, I was hoping the fur I need to see our human. So you're a concerned well wisher. Why didn't you say that in the first place? All this sneaking around and killing is so unnecessary. But father is so very ill. We really shouldn't disturb him. Isn't that right, mother? I I don't think. Of course you don't. Ever since you sent the knights away. You do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This man spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village. And now he'll repay me. You want to take me on, you little brat? You want to take on the... Oh. Crap. No! All right, where is, okay, first of all, you, and who am I, who is he attacking? Is he attacking this guy? You attack that, you back the fuck up, girl. To be back. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't wanna kill him, I don't wanna kill him. I don't have a choice though, do I? Man, it works much better when the people come in with you. I didn't want to hurt you, you're funny, I like you. Oh. Are you alright? I am. Oh, we didn't kill him. Better now, okay. I think. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andrastil. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. The fool I am. Yeah, you are. Please. Connor's not responsible. You are. There must be some way we can save him. I... Yes. I didn't tell you because I believed we could help him. I still do. I'm sorry, my lady, but Connor has become an abomination. He's no longer your son. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage I like him. of your fear. I'm sorry. I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and it's sometimes he breaks through. Please, I just want to protect him. Well, then maybe you, you shouldn't do the main thing. You hired the exactly. Maid to Connor in secret to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then. I think he ran upstairs, to the family quarters. Violence escaped him. I, I know that sounds strange. He may have run up to his room, or... I wouldn't normally suggest slaying a child, but... 
He's an abomination. Alistair. Any choice. We can't kill a young boy, demon or no demon. Please don't say we're considering that. Connor is my nephew. But he is also possessed by a demon. Death would be merciful. There is another option, though I loathe offering it. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Oh, right. If you're what a mage, you can do this. I played a mage while he dreamt and controls him from there. my first time. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade, then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages. But I have blood magic. Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Then let it be my blood. I will be the sacrifice. Okay. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon <laughs> Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. But we don't have another mage. Magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. It does seem like a sensible choice with a willing participant. But do you have to go in as blameless in this? He should not have to pay the price. It, uh, it's up to you, my friend. Why? It's not my life. And it's your companion going into the. Oh, is Morgana going in? Um. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. Um. Oh. oh, I had to answer. I didn't see it. It's so tiny. That is an excellent point. One of the treaties is also for the Circle of Magi, after all. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the mages' help. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. He'll, ki he'll kill everybody by the time we get over there and get... Well, actually, I can't actually remember because... I honestly can't remember... But honestly, going with the mages would probably kill him. I, I can't remember. I really can't remember. I don't know if I've ever done this option. I feel like I've always done the blood magic option because I am a teacher and therefore I cannot kill a boy and I hate that lady. So I... But if he doesn't... But I, if I remember correctly in the epilogue, if... You do it this way, he ends up, like, bad. So, let's do it. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. I've told you the only thing I can think of that might help. Until you make a decision, I think. I should remain here. Right. I can keep an eye on the boy, so to speak. If the demon rears its head, I can warn these people. Really, this is the least I can do. Once this is over, you 
or they can decide what to do with me. No, I like him. I do not like this talk of possessions and spirits and and magic. It is unnatural. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna loot your house while I'm here, if you don't mind. guys help a lot. I'm so glad I let them in. Wow, okay. should save red cliff vault key boom baby where's the vault is this the vault allow me i could do that for you allow me I could do that for you. Now is better than later. What now? On my way. Dang it. Is this the vault? My mother's amulet. It has to be. But why isn't it broken? Where did you find it? Oh, the Arl study? Then he must have found the amulet after I threw it at the wall. And he repaired it and kept it. I don't understand. Why would he do that? I guess you could be right. We never really talked that much. And then the way I left. Thank you. I mean it. I thought I'd lost this to my own stupidity. Only plus six. Got it. 
All right. All right, let's go back to the town and talk to the guy and then go to bed. It's sleepy time. Hopefully she got out okay. This town is very confusing. He is over here. Hi! I'm a Lena returned. She told me of your daring rescue. I can't begin to tell you how grateful I am. Take this. A reward for your deed. It's dwarven made and should serve you well. Thank you again. I'm forever in your debt. I may be a noble, but I will take my reward. Thank you. All right. And with that, we're going to call it for tonight. I guess we're going to the Mage's Tower next. Um, yeah. All right. So, so the two things that are going to be different is, one, last time I played a mage, so I actually went in myself. And two, I'm pretty sure that I did the blood magic thing. I don't think I went to the Mage's Tower for help because I thought that was a bad idea and I wanted to save the, the kid. So it'll be, it's already going to be interesting. interesting. Besides, the Mage's Tower is where you get win, which is the best character. So, yay! All right, I'll see you guys later.